Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Oregon Trail, a new remake of the classic Oregon Trail game out by Gameloft. Gameloft is a mobile developer, so I do think there's some similarities between here and what you normally see in mobile games, but this was taken from a Twitch stream on my, uh, on my uh, live stream on my Twitch channel from a couple of days ago. I find myself enjoying the game a lot, but I do understand some folks' criticism that it's fairly expensive. You can probably tell by my voice, I've been sick the last few days. That's why it's been a little bit uh, inactive on the channel. Uh, the live stream was from before I was sick, so my voice is better there. And I'm not going to bother you with a whole bunch of uh, narrative when I can't really talk. So I'm just going to jump. We're going to jump right back in the live stream. We're picking up from where we left off last time. We're at the Kansas River Crossing. It's our first major river crossing. And so far, no one's died. So let's jump back in. And how should we cross? It looks like the depth of the river. It's pretty shallow. It's 1.8 feet. Current slow. 600 feet. Wagons in good condition. I'm tempted to just ford it because, like, we could use the ferry, but it's $5 per person, and we've got to wait three days. So that's going to cut into our time to make sure we don't arrive after the winter starts. Um, we haven't been super concerned about pace so far. We've only been going for about five days. Uh, but we've got 216 pounds of stuff. We've got $126. We did just make more than, we've got, what, four people? So that would be $20. So we sold the fish, which would pay for the ferry, which would probably be, wait, why is it $35? Five per person, oh, and head of oxen. Either way, we made more than that. What if we haggle? Who's the person to kneecap? Go negotiate. Well, I think that's fair. So $4 per person. So you saved me seven bucks. Contact the pepper guy. Yeah. Can we fly over the river? Let's reconsider that. I think caulking the wagon doesn't make sense. It's too shallow. I wonder if that even increases the chance of flipping. If we do caulk the wagon. What are the chances? Oh, it doesn't even let me caulk the wagon. It's too shallow, I guess. So we have a 66% chance of success if we if we ford the river. If we seal, we could seal the wagon if we had any pelts, but we don't actually have any pelts. We haven't hunted or anything like that. I don't understand if it's two feet deep why we can't easily cross this thing. 2.5 is the max you can ford at without flipping. It's 1.8. The current's slow. I say we ford. Let's see what happens, boys. Cross your fingers. We're all getting wet, though, so that might make us sick. I don't know. We're crossing the river. Crossing, crossing, crossing the river. We made it! Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The path scrambles up the muddy bank and returns to the trail. We avoided a broken arm and a broken leg. Apparently that gives me a whole bunch of food. I don't know why. <laughs> Is there someone on the other end of the river saying, Congratulations! Here's some food. Anyway, we're making our way to Big Blue River. Derived from the Kansas, people named Great Blue Earth River. It's a significant ford for any wagon party. 56 miles away. We'll get more food. We'll get more flour. And if all characters survive, I guess we get more money? I hope no one dies. We're still pretty early on. Uh, we can either go to the southern option here, which looks like it has a... It looks like there's a fishing hole. Or we can go north, which we don't know anything about. I'm inclined to go to the undiscovered section just because I would like to, I'd like to actually get a chance to hunt. So let's travel to the northern one. With the Kansas River crossing behind them, the party looks ahead with some trepidation. The only hope the trail comes as aren't as treacherous. Really? It wasn't treacherous before. Oh, inventory overflow. Some items have fallen from your inventory. They may have been packed in slots that just got damaged or you've run out of room. Why is everything red? Okay, so I guess 175 is the maximum amount of flour you can carry. 
There's no way to repack this that makes it better. Unless we eat the coffee. No, even then, there's not room. Toss the fish. Honestly, I like having a little bit of fish in the food inventory, so I think we just toss it. Just discard the flour. We've got enough. That's weird that it like took a little while to let us know. A small mound of earth sits atop a pack a path flex of trail dust strewn about it by the wind. A grave mistake. So someone died, okay. The ground has been disturbed recently, perhaps to bury a supply cache or something else. One might dig up the mound to uncover what lies below or flatten the earth to hide the site forever. Do we want to dig it up? I'm worried we're going to uncover like a dead body and get sick. Leave it. You guys are cowards. It's a cholera body. I can't click the buff. Oh, no, I just get. Buffalo is spotted. It's like some achievement when you see it, but you don't get to hunt them yet. Collar is no joke. You guys are cowards. Um, who's going to dig it up? Get in there, Iron Priest. A blasphemous impulse. Oh, you're not happy. He refuses to dig it up. He flattened it. Mutiny. Mutiny. Mutiny, I say. Hey, experience points for seeing Buffalo. What the hell just happened? Our wagon just suddenly got in worse condition. I'm going to have to kick you out of here, Iron Priest. I told you to dig up the damn body. I guess you don't send a, uh, send a priest to dig up a possible body. The party is waved down by a young woman at the side of the trail. She looks to be in a rather desperate situation. Please stop our need of your help. Now, what in what the use in that, Alice? They're just going to ignore us like the last lot or worse. How many caravans has it been now? Nobody wants anything to do with us. I still have faith, Yosef. There was good people on this. Well, my accents are changing every time I say a line. Please, travelers, we've run desperately low on food. We've gone hungry night after night. You must help us. Whoa, 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 whoa. You had me until you used the word must. I mustn't do anything. Sending the priest to do the grave robbing? Yeah, that probably wasn't smart. What happened? We escaped from our owner and we're trying to make our way to safety, but... Escaped from your own. So they escaped slaves. Pretty sure the West is free country. All right. I'll give you some food. Absolutely not kneecap. Helps all of our morale, so that's good. And what's this? Another campsite? Several travelers miller about wagons and unpack campfires. This seems to be a popular camping ground and maybe a safe place to spend the night to restore some stamina. Set up camp. What do I need to do with my wagon? Like, why did the condition get worse? Worse. Tell some stories. THG is not a good shooter, apparently. Sultan's not terribly loyal. Kneecap isn't a great carpenter. Iron Priest is decent wit. Let's take a look at the wagon here. So... 
if I repair it, single use sold in sets of three. Does that mean I can use it three times? So I repaired the two parts of the wagon that degraded in terms of their quality. I guess it just gives me a spot on the thing to click. And now I have a uh, one repair use left. I don't know if that was the best use or not, but it did make me a little nervous that the wagon was not in great shape. Um, we have space if we want to get more stuff now that we used up our fish. How's, it, how's the party doing? Hygiene, pretty good. Everybody's hygiene's generally good. Morale is generally good. Stamina's a little low for Sultan. The priest's morale's not great. By the way, what have we learned? So I'm a bad shot, so don't send me hunting. Okay. I don't trust Sultan's loyalty. Uh, everybody's good with their morale except for the guy I sent to go rob a grave. I really want to hunt. So thirsty. What are we out of water? Oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. We're low on water. But we see mosquito larvae in the swim, swimming lazily on the surface. That sounds like bad water. That sounds like water we do not want to use. drink the swamp water it comes with protein in it i don't think so guys i think we're going to continue without the water our morale and stamina is high enough as it is right now i think that's one other thing i really liked about oregon trail too is you could just anytime you could hunt basically Morale continues to fall. Where to the next river? Can we drink this river's water? It's an infamously difficult crossing. All right. Uh, by the way, uh, how do I... So, I don't remember the water. Like, I don't see water as an actual thing. So, I I'm wondering if that's just an event. Because it doesn't look like we have water as a as an option to do anything with. So, I'm thinking that was just an event. Uh, meanwhile, what's it look like? Stamina's low, hygiene... Okay, stamina's okay, actually. Morale is low. Morale is low. Morale is... Whoa, Iron Priest, you are really upset. Wow, you might abandon us if your morale falls to zero. I have a solution to that, I think. Coffee's for stamina. Hymn book is for composure. Harmonica! Yeah, we'll give you all a little bit of a morale. We'll play the harmonica. Sultan's morale is up to two, and everybody else are up to, and everybody else is up to max. And I think actually that puts us. What did that do with my actual? The harmonica is a one-use thing. That's interesting. Reorganize things a little bit here. Anything to trade? Offers me two toolboxes. Offers me two pelts. For what? What are they offering me? For what? 
Give him seven bullets? Sure. That's not very many bullets. I still got 43. What about the pelts? Sure. Well, I guess the only problem with running out of bullet using your bullets is you, you're not going to be able to like get them in nature. Sultan only has one stamina. Well, we're going to rest here. So don't do it. We haven't even found a place I can hunt yet. Anyway, I, I'm happy with the first trade that we did. I don't even remember what we, what, what, what did we trade for. Oh, Sultan's stamina sucks. Good call. Why? I don't really need to use anything to get party stamina up. You're just getting tired like in real life? Okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> well, we're going to rest here so you get some stamina back, right? So let's rest overnight. Everybody got some more stamina. Wait, did your stamina drop to one? It's still only a two. Whatever. Big Louie. What does Big Louie have to say? Use the medicine on Sultan to get the achievement. Uh, okay, I'll take a look at that in a sec. No, sir. It was at one? Okay. So, what would you like to know, trail driver? Would you like to ask the trail driver about the crossing? Okay, yeah, I get that. Do I? Does it just the same thing every time? Okay, well, that's not really what I wanted to know. How about yourself, Big Louie? I'm a trail driver. A dozen of us are herding two thousand head of cattle from. In so you're a you're a cowboy. All right. It's hard going, as you'd know. We cover ten to twelve miles on a good day. Hope to settle down in Oregon if we make it. People call us cowboys. We move herds of cattle where they're needed. Need taken. Can be hard at times. We're held to a trail driver's code. No matter the hardship of physical torture, a man must stay with his herd as long as a loyal as a captain who stays with the ship at sea. Hey, not Canadian guy from Canada. <laughs> Welcome. Sultan is frail, so they lost more from the water issue. Yeah, that's probably a good one, doctor. That's probably right. Uh, what's the advice he have? Be careful you don't push those animals too hard. Keep them moving, but set them at a fair pace. Can't keep driving them so fast or you end up with a lame-footed animal. A lame ox is good to you as a dead one. Okay. Thanks for the advice, Louie. What's the party leader have to say? What would you like to know? About yourself. Buck's the name. Uh, my name, I've, I see, here's the thing. I'm a bad streamer because I'm bad at voice acting. I can't think I like I can't do different voices. It just it changes, but there's no consistency character to character. Uh, it's not the first trip I've made to Oregon in the past. I've had issues with sorting out disputes and disagreements amongst the party. But this time, this time we drew up a constitution so everybody knows the rules. OK. We've had enough. Pesky flies all day and mosquitoes all night. It's either baking sun or oceans of mud and sometimes both. Everyone's worried about the Pawnees surprising us, but they might have clean clothes to trade. Okay. What's a nice lass doing like you doing here? This prairie is mighty pretty with all the wild flowers and tall grasses, but there's too much of it. I miss having a town nearby. That's all she had to say? Okay. My husband and I are born and bred in Columbia. Worked a farm to the south near the Missouri River. Sold up and joined a wagon train. Set out about a month back. Hoping to start a new life in Oregon. Okay. 
Are there any strategy games about setting the West? I don't know. Is, is Oregon Trail is kind of a strategy game, isn't it? You cap. No, Oregon Trail is not 4X. Or are you saying you're looking for a 4X game about... There used to... There was a game about, like, building an outpost, like a like a fort outpost in the West. All right, so what's the situation with this river, huh? Whoa. Seven feet? Well, we definitely can't ford. That's not even an option. Seven feet, moderate current, only a 50% chance of success. I remember seeing one on the box uh, that like on the shelf years ago. And I think you were like a cavalry outpost. It was like almost like a city builder in the West, but it's been years. Like that was, that was a long, long time ago. Um, Let's wait and see if the current or anything drops. Like, I don't know if it's rained or anything like that. Should we wait again? One more day. It got a little better. Whoa, it dropped a ton. But the percentage didn't go up much. All right, I guess we're going to try and... I don't have any pelts to seal with, but that will probably increase our percentage a lot. We're almost 60% chance, so let's go. Cock the wagon and float. Oh, wow, it got even better. 40 Dropped even more. It must have been really rainy or something. I can't seal the wagon. I don't have any pelts to seal it with, kneecap. Wait. I thought we caulked the wagon and float. It looks like we're fording it. Although we're standing on it, which is different than the time before. So are we stuck? Oh, we lost 20 bullets, one cloth, one medicine, two. two That's like a fourth of all of our bullets. Uh oh. What did it say about restoring Sultan's health? Oh, I didn't do the thing you told me to do, right? There was an achievement where I should have given him something. My bad. The dumb thing is with everything we lost, we still don't have any more room in the uh in the wagon. Sorry, Hauser, my brain's just all over. That's because I'm hungry. You can't combine stacks in the game, unfortunately. It would be nice, but I, I well, I could probably combine the hard tack, right? No? Okay, that's just bad game design. Because the stack max is at 50. There's no reason it shouldn't let you drag in. Like, Really? You can rotate items, which doesn't matter for a one. That's dumb. Okay, I'm annoyed by that. I could put 11 here, and I could put the remaining 7 here, and then it would free up a slot. Restore, restore salt and stamina, and I get 153 meat. See, that's a little, that's a little bit, that's not Oregon Trail. I'm going to do it, but that's not Oregon Trail. What do I have to do? Restore stamina? Is that what it was? All right, Sultan. How do I get your stamina up? We need three. So what do we do here? Coffee. Everybody get your stamina up. Well, everybody's stamina is great except Sultan, but whatever. Use that coffee. Is there anything else that increases stamina? Nope. 
Well, so much for that. That was a waste. Should have waited till they're all low. Yeah, whatever. I can't get his stamina up. I guess we could rest. How about a steady pace? Rather than strenuous. There's no difference in how long it'll take us to get there. And let's go get some fish. I really would rather hunt though. Let's go, let's go see. Maybe there's a hunting route this way. We're taking our time. Walking slow and chill. 34 miles is definitely going to take more than one day. Stop right there. What? Hand over your money. No. Gather all your money on the double. Oh, fight back. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. I didn't see it clicking down. I want to fight back. I was just trying to read it, Hunter. The greatest game. I see. Well, I cannot say I did not try the peaceable route. Oh, my God. Takes a hit in his arm and shrieks in pain. The bandit looks on a disgruntled expression upon her face. She didn't take any money. She just hurt me. She broke my arm and then just left. What was the point of that? <laughs> I would have fought back, but apparently where did we get 73 bullets? We only had 50. I thought. The old slug, no slug back. I bought 50 more. Okay, you're right. I forgot about that. So THG is bad at hunting, apparently. Um, what about the rest of the party? I guess the farmer maybe is good at hunting. We can send kneecap out. Yeah, he's decent. I don't know why he just put a red outfit on. All right. Three, two, one. Pew, pew, pew. Fox. Oh, get him. Get him. Oh, my God. That thing's fast. Ah. Oh, God. I'm going to use all my ammo. I got one. Oh, buffalo. Uh, how do I aim at this thing? Okay. <laughs> okay, this is really unethical hunting. <laughs> Just shoot everything. <laughs> All right, we got 80 pounds. Only took us 20 bullets. Who's this guy? Why does he look so depressed? That was a successful hunt, dude. Obtain pelts. Five pelts. Knives can... So he'd get more if he had knives. Got it. So we've now got meat and we have pelts. Um, we're going to use this to improve my health because my dude's health is really low. Morale is low too for Iron Priest. Do we have anything that improves morale? What's the, what is composure? Is composure morale? Well met, travelers. It's good to see you again so soon. Okay, Sam. Where's your flying contraption? Yeah, 80 pounds from a deer, a buffalo, and two foxes? Yeah, it's really bad, really bad butchering there. That's like if I tried to skin a, a buffalo, I'd be like, I don't know what I'm doing. I've decided to stop my work, or that's like how I eat a freaking chicken, a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> like, I'm just bad at that. Uh, I've decided to stop working the flying machine for now. 
The general principles are sound, but I believe I'll have to wait for the advent of more powerful engines. Beside, which I have yet to solve the issue for how to safely land. He nurses a bruised arm. In the meantime, I've begun work on a new invention. Okay, go ahead. Thank you for your support, friends. It's a comfort to know that you hold the science in such high regard. He looks quite pleased with himself. As I was plummeting to the ground, I had a revelation, a vision of the wind rushing through my hair. Yes, I shall build a new wagon, powered entirely by the wind. Why, I walked to the Oregon when you could sail. He was overcome with excitement. All I require is little financial assistance to get me started. Never fear, I'm not about to ask for your savings. Rather, I believe there are investors at Julesburg who may be interested in funding my project. Perhaps you can spread the word to them. I'd be much obliged for the help. Sure, dude, whatever. A flock of ducks suddenly scatters into the air from nearby, from the water near the trail. Okay. If they're quick, someone might... Oh, uh, about it, about it. Go hunt him. Whoa. Hopefully you don't shoot anyone. He fumbles with the rifle, but eventually shoots at the flock, missing the large ducks, but connecting with a smaller, slower one. Hey, we got 25 meat and your hunting skill went up by 20 by one. So that's good. Now you're even better. Why are all their heads low? Come on, guys. We're going slow. We're taking our pet. We're taking our time. Everybody's health. Party hygiene drop by one. We're almost to Alcove Spring. The food ration is meager. I could up it. I do have quite a bit of food. The freshest water cascades from a stone outcrop plummeting several feet into the basin below before settling into a cold, clear pool. We're at Alcove Spring. It's Ava! Ava, did you come from Independence too? I met this amazing man here. This is like, um, what is that? Missed connections on uh, is it Craigslist? Oh my God, he was handsome and so kind. I wanted to spend forever with him, but my father wouldn't allow it. He wants me to marry this rich banker to connect our families. I'm a rich banker. All my father ever does is tell me what to do, but I want to love who I love. Not some rich snob. I just can't do it. I'm thinking of running away. Going to find this wagon train so we can be together. You have to help me. Please, anything you can lend me. I'll find a way to pay you back. You have my word. She wants 150 food? That's incredibly dumb. I would never give that. We have 200 food left. I'll tell her about Douglas. Douglas, that's him. You met him in independence after I lived, you say. Thank you, traveler. I've decided I will go be with my love. I guess I could give her some of the money. YOLO. <laughs> Offer her money. Thank you, kind strangers. Perhaps it is fate we met for you to offer me such kindness. I hope we see each other again. I hope not, because that means we're probably like sitting around and waiting. What does Frank want? It's a long way before the next place you can safely rest. Enjoy the peace and quiet while you can. Perhaps you should carve your name into the rocks. My whole party did it just to let the world know we were here. Carve a name. Hey, everybody's morale goes up. They feel uplifted by the experience. I don't know if we have anything sharp enough to carve rocks enough to leave it for centuries, but you know. I don't be this guy. He's just having fun, like, stepping up in the water and the pool and all that. What else does Frank have to say? What about Richard? Richard, what do you have to say, Richard? Are there any Richards in the chat? We just arrived here from St. Joseph to the east. It's a small town, so provisions were in short supply, but we're able to avoid crossing the Blue River. 
What? Why couldn't we avoid crossing the Blue River? We're heading south across the Big Blue River on our way to Independence. This place seems as good a place to wait as any before crossing a river. It's a good idea to wait until it's low when the current is slow. <laughs> Kilroy was here. Yes, indeed. Should we trade? We could sell our pelts. $5 per pelt. What did we get? We have five pelts. I think we can max our sealing the wagon with pelts. Is at, I want to say at three. Maybe it was five. Let's just sell two of the pelts for 10 bucks back. We'll get some of that money back that we gave up. I should have haggled. Maybe that would have given me more money. I don't know. Sixteen pounds per day. We're at twelve right now. How much food do we have? We're not even eating the hard tack. I really want to consolidate this. Can you choose to make hard tack anytime you want? I guess that would be the other thing. Is like, how do you, how do you choose if you want to make hard tack? Wagon's pretty much full up. Uh, Big Blue River. Yeah, we did that. We did that. Do I have to really confirm each one of these achievements? We found Ava. We told him about Douglas and donated some supplies. She left to find him. We also met Samuel Peppard. What does this do? Go to Julesburg and find some investors from. Why would I want to help this salt or the snake oil, oil salesman? Like, why? Uh, let's rest for a day. Everybody's stamina goes up a little bit. All right, so stamina is perfect for everybody. Morale is good. Health is perfect. We're all a little bit dirty. All right. All right. We've only been going for about two weeks. Seems like we're making good progress, but let's go ahead and depart. Whoa. <clears throat> All right, so we have made it from Independence to Alcove Springs. The next stop is Fort Kearney. We're in leg one of five. Onward and upward. Restore Sultan's health. We get 174 flour. What's Sultan's health at? Sultan, you're just a problem child here. I'm hesitant to give you help like medicine. What is composure? I don't know if you'll heal at camp, but maybe if we keep a steady pace with filling rations, you'll just get better. So this appears to be a rest camp. And this is a question mark. I always like going for the question marks. Collect herbal remedies. Where do we find those? I don't see anything to click on. What is that? A coyote growls at the party. The party stops and waits to see how the coyote will react, but it makes no moves. Approach the coyote. Who should approach the coyote? 
Sultan? Pushes Sultan out front. This is how you get rabies? Now that she's closer, Sultan notices the coyote has something in his mouth. It growls at Sultan, but doesn't move to attack. Interact with the coyote. Bends down back to make the move to attack. Carefully, she takes the sack from the coyote's mouth. Opening the sack, it appears to be a collection of goodies, perhaps supplies that someone previously left behind. Yay! Plus three medicine and one harmonica. The coyote, having passed along its gift, scampers off without a, with a happy whine. Why does he care? The sultan is left a bit confused as to why a wild coyote bequeathed the gift, but figures it may be best not to look a gift canine in the mouth. That was strange. Twas a strange interaction. But it's about that time again, folks. Time for us to wrap this episode up. So I hope you guys are enjoying my look at Oregon Trail by Gameloft. It is available on Steam. It is also available on Switch and other platforms. Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know how much more of you want to see of this. We did about a four-hour stream. We're about two hours in. Uh, the stream was sponsored by HelloFresh. That's why there's a little icon in the lower left. Uh, but uh, the videos aren't. The YouTube videos aren't. I put a link in the description in the event you're interested in checking HelloFresh out. Uh, if you do use that link, it helps me out. But uh, this isn't a sponsored video or anything. So um, that's totally up to you. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching. And I'm out.